Hi Capricorn, this is Tara Baitis with your July 2017 reading. I took you on the road with me so the camera might shake a little bit because this table is not very steady. Um, I'm looking at your reading and I see the end of a partnership and there, a court is involved so it could be a marriage. Um, I just see somebody's done some kind of a crime. Um, other people, when it comes to work, I think your boss may be stealing um, and they're like a workplace bully. It doesn't have to be a boss, but I see King of Wands reverse, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, bottom of the deck we have Queen of Wands. Um, this signifies wanting to go out and start your own business. I could definitely possibly see a psychic business, but I see wanting to be a go-getter. I think you want to be the boss. Um, but because we have King of Wands in your current situation, and he's in reverse, this means a change of boss. So the King of Wands might come out, and the Queen of Wands comes in. Um, others of you um, in relationships, I see a divorce slash breakup, because the Queen of Wands and King of Wands are separated okay and the king of wands is reversed so maybe he's the one who's wanting to leave um, it doesn't have to be but that's just what I'm seeing so I'm seeing a fire sign possibly also um, there might be an ex-partner that you've uh, been talking to who's going through a divorce and he's just kind of telling you how bad everything is and then some of you who are in a relationship that's, you know, not so great, I see saying hurtful words that you can't really take back. Um, but there is a degree of trickery or deception because we have the moon, page of swords reversed, five of swords reversed, um, and even three of cups reversed. So there could be an affair just because we have the lovers, um, but I only see one queen. Um, all right, so let's go to your situation. We talked about, you know, a husband leaving um, or somebody, usually when he's upright, this talks about a husband who's not available, but now it's in reverse. So it's as if he's not going to be a husband, but he's also no hope of true devotion, no hope of true love. So I'm seeing he's probably just not the marrying kind. All right, we have four of cups reversed. So I'm thinking of somebody wanting to get a missed opportunity. Um, also somebody who's a little crabby and they just say things um, because here when um, the King of Wands is reversed it means not taking that step that the Queen of Wands would when she's upright. I'm seeing being a little negative and stubborn and crabby and wanting your way and I'm seeing like another rejection like re being rejected too many times and giving up. We have seven of pentacles in reverse, so I see bad investment, um, unrequited love. Um, but I see you're not going to be invested in this job anymore, and you're not going to be invested in the relationship, or this king of wands person is not going to be invested in their relationship. We have three of pentacles reversed. This is not working together. Um, it could be end of a marriage, um, end of a job, okay? And some of you, I think your boss is just a bully and uh, they may also be I mean I see this a little bit too much but I see shorting money or embezzlement but I see it more so now because we have the court cards as well as some betraying cards all right that's your current situation so you should know if that applies if it doesn't apply then the rest of it's not for you all right in your issue obstacle or fate we have the fool this is you wanting a new start, finding a new job, going off on your own, maybe starting your own business like the Queen of Wands might suggest. And this is being happy, um, maybe wanting a new start with somebody, or just breaking free. But I see non-traditional. Somebody doesn't want to be married. I'm going to let you know later on that's what's going to pop up in July, we have the Hierophant reversed. So we have a lot of non-traditional stuff. We have um, rebellion. Okay, so Somebody's a rebel. Clarifying the Fool, we have Wheel of Fortune reversed. 
I'm seeing luck ran out. This is not your soulmate. Even though we have the lovers here, I just don't see it happening. There's too many negative cards. Um, I'm seeing somebody maybe saying they're getting divorced or moving on, but they're not. Okay. Um, but I just see things not working out. Um, some people are still holding on to something. Okay. And if you are a more traditional person, I'm seeing they're not going to work out or vice versa. So what's going to help you with this? Well, one, we have three of cups. So if you're with somebody who's married, I'm saying stop dating them. Others of you, I'm seeing kind of stick to yourself. Um, and realizing that this isn't really going to go anywhere. It's actually a bad outcome. Okay, I think you're just needing to see that. This is also an end of a marriage for some people. Okay, usually due to infidelity. And then we have four of wands reversed. So I'm seeing something's not ready. So somebody's not ready to get married. Somebody doesn't want to be married. Um, end of a marriage. Um, also end of a contract. Okay, and I. I forgot about this because we had three of pentacles and three of cups. You know, it is third party energy, but it's also not working together, not uniting. So I'm seeing don't reunite with somebody from your past, Capricorn, especially if they're a fire sign. Possibly Gemini or Pisces. Okay, because it's it's not gonna work. Maybe in the future somewhere, but not anytime soon. And that may be why I'm seeing the time is not right, okay, to set off on your own whether it's for a job or a relationship or divorcing. So, time is not right. They could possibly be the soulmate just because the Wheel of Fortune is here with the lovers, but it's in reverse. So obviously, timing's not here. Okay. Um, so that's a little bit of positive information there. Ah, sorry. Cards came up. I've been a little sweaty today, moving uh, stuff in my classroom. So yeah, I'm here where I'm moving to, but the apartment's not ready. And uh, so I've got a hotel for the day so I can work on my classroom and then go to some professional development. All right, so what's your strength? you got nine of cups reversed. I'm seeing not getting your wish, and that's going to be a blessing in disguise, especially with the lovers here, because you're going to find out some stuff. Um, also, I'm seeing count your blessings, that this relationship is not stable. Okay, because um, I see the end of a marriage. Also, I'm seeing be selfish. Okay, that's going to help you. Think about yourself. It's clarified by six of swords reversed. So, see, you're going to need to get your space to break this connection with somebody. Um, if it's like obsession or um, moving, because I've seen here, not only is somebody not moving on, but that's not your strength. Okay, that's just something to work on. This is... Try to say this with the right way. Um, bad move. Okay. Like wrong decision. And we do have a decision here with the levers. And Wheel of Fortune's in reverse. So I'm seeing just if you make a move with this particular person, uh, it's not good. Now, some of you are getting divorced, and I see that's a good move. But um, for those of you who are wanting to be in a relationship with somebody else who may be getting a divorce, or at least breaking up, I'm seeing that would be a bad move. Because I think they're going to hang on. <clears throat> or this could be telling you to hang on. It's not the right time. And so then, of course, your strength could be to hang on. Um, and just think about yourself for now. Take care of yourself. All right, what are some other things that are going to pop up for you? Well, you got a lot of cards. And you have three major arcana. No, four. First... Two of Swords. So a decision has to be made. Uh, I'm seeing for people getting divorced or people who are arguing, I'm seeing make a truce. Because I'm seeing people are saying nasty things. Um, it's not very amicable. And then others of you, I'm seeing what you could do if it's just not time for you to be with someone just yet. I'm seeing offer them friendship. Okay? Just hey, let's be friends. Maybe really, really good friends. Not friends with benefits. That's not in here. Okay. All right, so what are you deciding? Because you're really contemplating something. Something's weighing on your mind. And here's what you have to consider. First, page of swords reversed. 
This is somebody who's stalking and spying, especially because we have the moon here, and I think it has to do with love. So some of you may find out about the affair, but you don't know it right away. Even though it's affecting you currently, you don't know about it. Um, but Four of Cups is in reverse, so I think you're going to see whatever this is. Um, in reverse, it says watch out for Cancer or Taurus. But I'm going to think it's... Oh, okay, it could be either one, okay? We have the Cancer card and the Taurus card here. Taurus is in reverse. That makes me think, no, not Taurus, and yes, Cancer. But it could be either one. So watch out for a Cancer or a Taurus. This is the person or people you can't trust. Um, but yeah, somebody's fine. I'm seeing they're going to use anything they can against you. So please be careful. Um, don't share any information. Um, don't get too involved. I'm seeing be honest because this person's not. It's clarified. Or the other side of the Two of Swords is Five of Swords reversed. So I do see a bully at the workplace as well as somebody who's committed a crime. And this is why Justice Reversed is coming in. Um, this is somebody who's very haughty and they feel entitled and they can do whatever they want. And they... Because of their arrogant attitude, they don't even realize that they're saying harsh words. Now, usually, Five of Swords, when it's in reverse, talks about the querent, which would be you, saying something very rude and hurtful. But it could be them. Okay, but it's usually upright. Um, so, especially since it's clarified by the Page of Swords reversed, that wouldn't be you. Um... So, and then your outcome is the hurtful words as well. So I do see somebody saying things that are just so painful. Um, it could be a job, but I'm seeing it's mostly relationship-based. But there is a little bit of jobs in here where you're wanting to leave your job, and I'm seeing not just yet, but if you like get fired, I'm seeing then, that, then that's okay. Um, because with Four of Wands reversed over here and Three of Cups reversed, I'm seeing losing a contract. But it looks like you're going to be fine. You might end up, end up even doing something uh, um, more creative. Because we do have some wands in here. And with the Page of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, even though they're reversed. Um, and even the Fool, you're going to do something non-traditional. It's going to be kind of a strange job, more creative than anything. Because um, Moon is creativity, and with the Page of Swords, it says nurture a talent. So when I see talent, I'm thinking creative talent. We do have lots of wands, so it could be your own business. I'm seeing, even though the timing's not right, I'm seeing something that would help you would be leaving your job. Okay. Or this might be saying, if you lose your job, then just go ahead, because you've already lost your job. Might as well. Um, I've seen stop working with this contract. All right. I got chariot. So again, we have a victory. And with the seven of pentacles in here, it's going to be slow. So again, um, this came up for somebody else. I don't remember which sign. But victory will be slow, but impressive. So don't expect everything to be great right away if you start your own business. Um, or if you lose your job and you're looking for work, I'm seeing it's probably going to be a little slow. Also, I see controlling your emotions. This will always right everything in your favor. It'll make justice turn if she's in reverse. It'll make the Wheel of Fortune turn because um, you're always trying to plant positive positivity to help turn things around. Um, but mainly, if you're the one who's been saying these things because we have Page of Swords reversed and Five of Swords reversed, See, control yourself, especially in a court of law, which some of you are going into, because, like, the judge is going to see that somebody lost control of their emotions, and they may decide in the other person's favor. So I'm hoping it's going to be your other partner and not you, but I'm seeing this is advice for you, things that are going to pop up. This is with the white horse and the black horse. This is, you know, needing to balance the light and the dark within yourself. Because there's something here about somebody's darkness that they need to get a hold of. And I'm thinking this is yours because it's your outcome and what's going to pop up for you. But you could just need to realize and see somebody else's darkness. Now normally these are sphinxes, but I'm using um, a different deck, the Love Tarot deck. 
Um, and since they're horses, just let you know, horses are usually about pride and getting attention. So I'm seeing controlling your emotions will get you the right attention, um, will get you a victory of something that you can be proud of. Almost like the uh, Six of Wands, okay? Um, but otherwise, it's not going to work out. And I think you are going to take this advice because we have justice here, okay? So I think I see justice will prevail with the Wheel of Fortune. Everything will work out in your favor. Um, but make sure you're doing everything with integrity because we do have the Page of Swords and Five of Swords, and that's not really good here. Um, and she's going to make sure that whoever's not on the up and up will get what's due them, as well as people who are on the up and up. So I do see bosses leaving, especially if they did you wrong. You could possibly um, start your own business after this happens, and that's just because it's something that should be happening. Could be dealing with a Libra. Um, but she's very balanced. She balances her intellect and her emotions. So again, I'm seeing that. Um, but everything's going to work out in your favor, okay? All right. Hierophant reverse. This is a court of law, um, as well as marriage. So I do see people getting divorced. And I'm seeing... I'm seeing, again, like, watch out for Taurus, okay? But it's also Cancer. Um... And if you have Cancer or Taurus in your chart, then I see the judge favoring the Cancer more because Cancer's upright. Because this is rebellious and not traditional, just like the Fool over here, which I talked about. So again, I see something not traditional. And the judge uh, could be a little corrupt, okay? Um... And so if you don't control yourself, you're going to give them an easier reason to not rule in your favor. But I do see somebody with no morals here, and I think it's not you, okay? I think it's this other person, a Cancer or a Taurus. And those are the only options I'm really giving you because Page of Swords is here in reverse, and it says to watch out for them. Because with Five of Swords, it's a sneak attack. And I'm seeing, pick your battles, okay? Um... Because there's probably a battle that, with the moon here that you don't know about that you're going to have to fight. And if you try to fight something else that's not even important, it's going to look bad on you. Um, but if you're fighting over kids, I see you'll get custody of the kids. Or at least um, possibly joint custody. But at least you'll get to have them at some point. You're not going to lose custody. Um... But I do suggest making sure your house is in order. Uh, make sure you have a car, if that's the case, because the judge will be looking for those things. Um, yeah, okay. Sorry, the camera's shaking. Um, but there's a criminal somewhere in this court. We have the magician reversed. This is... Um, a manipulator, a con artist, somebody who's lying, a criminal. Um, this is ruled by Aries, so there could be an Aries. But I'm just seeing somebody who's like manipulating the system, because we have Hierophant Reverse, which can be corruption, as well as this guy. But Justice is upright, so I'm seeing you, you do your part, and everything's going to work out. And normally the Magician says, let go and let God, okay? It doesn't, I don't think it matters if it's upright or not. So if you're not letting it go and giving it to the universe, I'm seeing do it, okay? But just make sure you're doing your part, which is acting with integrity. Um, but I think you're getting out of a marriage or a relationship with this guy. But this guy is very persuasive, okay? He's a con artist. So this could be the boss that might be embezzling, and he's going to get caught in court, even though he's a smooth talker. Come so seeing like, emotions are going to be out of control, and whoever's out of control is going to get the bad judgment. Um, but I'm seeing a judge may see something as a crime of passion. And almost like not being lenient. Or being lenient, I'm sorry. It's like being lenient. Like saying, well, somebody just said some harsh words. They didn't mean it. Or... It was just the throes of passion. And I'll tell you, we have a couple cards in here that worry me a little bit. 
because we do have the magician. He's manipulative and gets what he wants um, by tricking people. So this, sorry, somebody walked by. <laughs> so this could be someone, like again, somebody you want to be in a relationship with who's like, yeah, I'm getting divorced, but maybe he's really not. He's just being rebellious. I'm seeing a rebellious criminal um, hopefully getting justice because justice is of right. Um, but the cards that worry me, we have the lovers, okay? But it's not in reverse, so I'm not as scared. But we do have the Five of Swords. When I see the lovers, the Five of Swords, and King of Swords, which we do not have King of Swords, I see sexual assault. But normally the lovers is reversed, not always. So we have a couple cards in here that worry me, and we do have a crime and going to court, and then we have a, like a trickster and an abuser. So, um... Please be careful. All right. That was the last one. Things that might pop up for you. I'm also seeing that somebody might, like if there's a workplace bully, like a boss or somebody, um, make sure, to, like if you get fired or somebody's being wrong, to control yourself. Because you can only control yourself. You can't control what other people are doing. I do see lack of control and bad communication. So again, watch your words. Because a court may decide that this person overreacted to something and perhaps you get a job back. Okay. Um, others of you, if you did go through a sexual assault, especially with a partner, um, or maybe even a boss, hopefully not, um, I'm seeing the court may say somebody overreacted. Okay. In that case, not so great. Um, so first we had the moon, so again, I'm seeing a little bit of anxiety, but a secret, something's not known. I also see somebody has a mental illness, this could be the magician person, or the cancer, because this is a moon card, and moons rule cancers. Um, I'm a cancer, but I don't usually see us that way, but you never know, everybody's different. Um, this could be a Pisces as well, and then we have Gemini with the lovers. I see you're going to need to trust your intuition because there is some kind of an illusion. Again, I see controlling your emotions because you're going to feel very emotional. And Capricorns, uh, I don't know. I don't usually see you guys being so super emotional. Maybe you have Pisces or Cancer in your chart. Um, but you guys seem very firm and steady to me. Um, also, if there is any kind of drug-related charges, um, I think it's all going to work out, actually. All right, clarifying it, we have the lovers. There is a decision to make about a deception, and what you're going through is going to be like a fate or a rite of passage. You're going to have to go through it. Um, in fact, you're the little crayfish or lobster going through the dogs. Or they're usually wolves and whatnot. Um, but you're going to have to make a choice about love. And I see seek counsel. Um, you may decide to stay married for some of you. Um, others of you. I do see love triangles. So some of you may decide to be the mistress. You may decide to be the secret mistress. But again, I'm seeing saying harsh words um, because you're over emotional and regretting something you say somehow or another I'm not sure why let me clarify a little bit more um, some of you may, just may join a partnership with a Pisces or a Gemini for work and maybe you have to do it a little secretively Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm seeing again making a choice, making an offer. Um, somebody may do oh, bribery, bribing for favors. But I see you're both going to need to give equally. Also, in a divorce case, um, getting a settlement, getting alimony. Um, some of you may have to give up the house in order to get the alimony. If you know you're settling. But I see getting a payout. Um, I also see share custody of kids 
you have seven of wands this is standing your ground like you have to have a line drawn in the sand like this is a deal breaker for me I have to have this but I can compromise on that and I also see you're gonna feel like you have to defend yourself um, maybe being backed up in a corner and you're going to come out of your comfort zone so if you feel like everybody's against you maybe you're the one in court I'm saying just defend yourself but defend yourself with integrity okay um, because it could be that you were over emotional with the moon here, okay, about love. And the judge may in that case be lenient and just say, okay, you know, he was overreacting. Um, so we'll let this go. Because I do see like a fair and balanced. The Six of Pentacles always buffers any bad decision from justice. Not a bad decision, but, you know, something that's not in your favor. But justice is already in your favor. So this is going to go very, very well. I see biases get righted. Um, if you get a bad judgment, which I don't see it, then it's like you get another chance. So we do have four of cups reversed here. So I see a second time around. So you could get another chance um, with a partner if they get divorced. Um, but I'm seeing just not the right time just yet. Okay. Um, I could also see um, you might be in the wrong place at the wrong time for something. It was just bad timing and maybe a bad decision and so you end up in a court of law somewhere um, maybe doing something foolish because um, your luck just kind of ran out like luck wasn't on your side that day um, and the fool says you don't know when okay it's like being caught by surprise and it's usually a little bit of bad news with the wheel of fortune reversed um, but I see remain balanced, okay? Because everything's going to work out in your favor. Um, a judge could be lenient and give you a second chance. You may give a partner a second chance. I see a majority of people divorcing, though. But there's not going to be everybody. So a few of you will stay with a partner. Um, and then some of you will get divorced. But the judge will give somebody a second chance. I get the feeling some of you this might be a, a child because we did have page of swords so a child may have committed a crime and you go and give them good testimony and they just did something foolish because they're young and naive or they're in the wrong place at the wrong time um, with three of pentacles they could have been at a bank when it was being robbed and somehow either they got on camera and somebody thought that they were committing the crime or they could have just robbed an ATM because I do see seven of pentacles reversed and they're just going to get a second chance and I'm seeing some of you need to let go of somebody who's not good and you're going to know if they're not good okay um, at least eventually and then um, others of you I see you're not going to give up the fight okay so if something does come out where it's not in your favor, you think something's unjust, you're going to keep fighting. You're not going to give up. Um, but some of you are going to end July not knowing where you stand with somebody. Okay? Because the Seven of Wands is like unsure. You don't know. Because remember, he has one boot on and one slip-on shoe. It's in the water. One's in the water and the other one's on a cliff. So it's like one side you're drowning, the other side you're about to fall. So you're just not really sure. Um... And here I can see illusions, and they need to be cut through, okay? Right now, but just be aware of somebody who's manipulative and bad communication. I'm seeing communicate like you are a saint and act that way as well. What are some steps that Capricorns can take to have some certainty and a good outcome for the month of July and beyond? 2017. Okay. Sun reverse. I'm seeing temporary obstacles. Um, I do see success, but it's like it's going to be delayed. Okay. So again, um, a slow but impressive victory. And I see somebody. Like, I see not being certain, because the sun is normally something coming to light. 
and it's like it's been suppressed. So if you did do something wrong, um, I'm seeing it may not come to light, or you may, the charges may get dropped. Um, and then some of you who are getting divorced may be a little depressed, because um, maybe the judge, you know, says that he wasn't having an affair, or she wasn't, or blah, 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 okay? But I think the situation in court's going to work out in your favor anyway, regardless, because this says something's around the corner, whether it's love or a job. But you may have to wait. I get the feeling that you don't need to move. You may feel like you need to move to find something, but your house cards are in reverse. Um, and travel cards are in reverse, except for um, the chariot. That's the only one. But I'm seeing no moving, because uh, it wouldn't be successful. I'm seeing bad move, bad move. Um, so it could be a physical move or just a bad decision. And then we also have Knight of Wands. This is a moving card, so I guess we have two upright. But I'm seeing ind being independent. Um, but this guy's also afraid of commitment. So I'm seeing you shouldn't commit to anybody, at least not in the month of July, okay? Um, also, um, fire signs, possibly a Leo or Aries, but let's just not commit to fire signs right now. Um, let's see. That's somebody who's also a go-getter. So I see a like delayed ambition or delayed drive. The hanged man reversed. Yeah, I do see a delay. You're going to have to change your perspective on something. Um, you may be seeing something a little too optimistically, okay? But remember, obstacles over here are just temporary. They're going to be overcome. Um, also see the need to be selfish. Think about yourself. Um, also, if you have any kind of enemies, I'm seeing that you need to be passive. Sit back and watch them destroy themselves, okay? Because it's going to happen. You just, the best way to deal with somebody who's too aggressive or dominant or a bully is just being passive because eventually they'll get too bored. And this is the board card, Four of Cups. Um, and it's like you get a second chance because they leave or they get bored, also get a second chance in court. Um, but I see this as having lots of creative energy, eventually getting that job. This is a very good luck card when he's upright, okay? But I see somebody who's not committing. Okay. Are there any other messages for Capricorns regarding business? You guys better be glad I'm here because I turned the fan off on the air conditioner and it's warm now. <laughs> it was just too loud. All right, Knight of Cups reversed. I see somebody is not committed. Um, their feelings aren't very deep. They're shallow. I do see some self-esteem and depression, um, or low self-esteem and depression. Um, but I'm seeing there's really no need for that. I also see somebody's not going to apologize. They don't have any remorse. I mean, they're the Page of Swords. They're the Magician. They don't care. I see no love offer, so don't offer one and don't accept one. But see, that's supposed to be for business. And that is a water sign card, so Pisces and Cancer especially. It's usually the Pisces card. I'm seeing don't join with a Pisces or a Cancer. Okay, possibly a Scorpio. Because <laughs> this is a betrayer, especially when it comes to love. Normally, he's a good guy, but... In reverse, he's terrible. He's promiscuous. He's dishonest. He'll lie straight to your face. He has a drinking problem. That could be what the Nine of Cups is here. Um, but that's not a strength. This could be about a DUI. All right, Six of Wands reversed. This would be falling for somebody's trap. Um, not getting a promotion because somebody betrayed you. Okay. Um, or you could have narrowly escaped the, the trap. Okay. Um, but I see this relationship probably isn't going anywhere at this time um, because they're not right in their emotions. They are not balanced at all. They're wearing a mask. 
so water sign most likely could be a Scorpio but I'm seeing all the water signs I do see a couple Cancer cards and a couple Pisces. But yeah, it's like somebody, okay, a boss may deny you a promotion and actually fire you instead, um, whatever that's about. If you're up for a promotion, just be careful because I don't see you getting it. Um, and also control your emotions if you don't get it. Right, what information or messages are there for Capricorns regarding love life if they are single. Okay, we do have an Aries. So I'm seeing being rejected by Aries or turning an Aries down. So remember I said no fire signs either. Um, so the only thing we don't really have in here are some of the air signs and some of the earth signs. Um, but I'm seeing job loss, rejection, okay? And this is a boss. Now he's usually a good boss. Um, but he still is very set in his ways. Um, and here I see like um, fantasy, something's not real, okay? And this could be him, this could be a judge, okay, uh, who rejects something, um, may reject a settlement, or may reject an offer, um, or may reject the case, and in that case you need to settle. Um, and I just see you get the payout somehow or another. Everything will be fair and balanced eventually. Some of you may get rehired at the job that lets you go or that you leave because you get a new boss and they don't really know the history. But I do see needing need to control and you will scatter your enemies. But I see a little bit of emotional turmoil in the interim. What messages are there regarding love for Capricorns in the month of July 2017 for those who are coupled or in the process of getting divorced? Okay. So I do see it's over, but there's with Nine of Wands, there's some kind of insight you're going to get that's going to let you know it's over. Um, your defenses are going to be up, but you're going to have the courage to keep going. And you're going to be very resilient. But again, I see the need to control your emotions. Don't worry. Don't be anxious about what's out there. Um, you're going to be able to close this chapter and move on. You're going to recover. Um, now we have two Scorpio cards in here. So let's just make it safe. Say water signs and earth, I mean fire signs especially. And then Taurus, Libra, or Gemini. <laughs> okay. Um, but I do see the end, okay? I see the end um, of getting almost there. Like, oh, you're almost at the end is what I see. So it's almost over. Um, but you never want to see death in a relationship where you're coupled because it's the end of something. And I don't see any relationships actually staying together except maybe like two or three, you know. A majority of people watching who are coupled won't be by sometime around July. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Good luck, and let me know how it goes. Keep me updated.